Ever wondered what position each item has in your list? Let's reveal their spots. Okay, let's go. First of all, I'm gonna ask the user to enter some words separated by spaces. And I'm gonna say that items, for example, it's an input. So when we do an input, we are expecting an answer from the user. Saying, for example, words separated, separated by spaces. Perfect. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna apply the, the function split, which basically it will um, it will convert these items we have here into a list using the separator as uh, using the space as a separator. Okay, so that's predefined. If I say nothing here, I could say, for example, using the dots. But in this case, I'm gonna say nothing because the function it already uses the spaces as separator, which is exactly what we want. So yeah, let's move on. Now I'm gonna loop through each item using its length. So for example, for n in branch of um, length of items. So in this case, we are creating a loop of uh, the same repetitions, like the same iterations as the range of items. So let's say that items has five different words. So in this case, we will create a loop of five different iterations and now I'm gonna print the index and the item that belongs to that index so print index and in this case the index is the n all right and then I'm gonna for example draw an arrow here and say that that index belongs to the element in this case from items n Okay, that's how we access to a specific element of, of a list using an index. And that's everything. I hope you understand because this is very, very important in Python. And it's one of the, the I would say, one of the biggest um, lessons in Python. So now we are going to test the code word separated by spaces. Let's say house, for example, flat, let's say village, and let's say Arnau, which is my name. And in this case, the index zero of this list is house. So it's the first element. Index one is flat. Index two is village. And the last index, number three, is Arnau. So what's the biggest lesson from this exercise? That in Python, the first index of a list it's always the index zero, not one. And that's everything.